Welcome to Woodworks. Today we're going to build a Lego play storage box. It has a Lego top and four bins for the Legos and we're going to show you how to do it. The first step is to download the free 3D solid model of your project at woodworks.us and make sure you also have downloaded and installed the 3D viewer. This gives you the opportunity to analyze the design to uh, slice it, look inside of it. It also gives you the ability to uh, take it apart piece by piece to see how uh, the project is built, how it's made, and what's involved. A definitely powerful tool as you uh, prepare to build a project and uh, once you're in the middle of building it, so you can look and see how everything is put together. Also, once you downloaded your drawing package, uh, you want to look over the bill of materials, you want to look over the exploded views to make sure you have all your pieces and parts ready to go, and uh, choose your materials, whether it's going to be plywood or MDF. Look at the cut sheets to make sure you have enough wood and uh, you're prepared for the project. So let's get rolling. First we cut our large sheet of MDF in half using a circular saw and a good strong straight edge guide. And then we took and ripped it to size on the table saw. Then we move over to the radial arm saw and cut the ripped sheets to the proper size according to the cut sheets to give us a nice true square edge. Here is a shot of us ripping the four inch tall bin walls and the back of the bins using the table saw. Definitely the easiest way to do this task is with two people. So we're moving on from there. We're going to go and uh, show you how we uh, cut all of those individual pieces to size. I'd highly suggest uh, putting the stop block on your radio arm saw. That way you can cut multiple pieces uh, repeatedly with uh, very accurate consistency. Stop blocks are definitely the way to go. We used a half inch MDF uh, particle board for this project because we knew we were going to paint it and we knew it was going to be uh, really good edge quality uh, using that material but it does make it heavy uh, so uh, it comes out very true. This is a quick shot of us cutting the back which is just a normal piece of 3 16 inch plywood and uh, here we are drilling uh, holes using the spade bit for the handles and we're going to move over to the router and uh, clean up the hole. Just set the fence, uh, make your first cut in the back, uh, join the two holes and then of course you're going to have to uh, re-index your fence and uh, cut out the bottom of the hole. Again that MDF uh, particle board does a, a terrific job of making a clean edge if you're going to paint your project. If you're going to stain it you do not want to use that. Go and use some uh, nice oak hardwood plywood. So what we did was we uh, put on the dado blade on the table saw and we cut the grooves for our bins and the uh, again the MDF did very very well a nice clean edge uh, nice and consistent density through that too. Uh, we used number uh, 10 biscuits and uh, lots of high quality wood glue uh, to hold the joints together having a good uh, joiner. Uh, it makes your job really easy when you're lining up all the pieces. Just make sure you measure correctly and uh, make sure your settings are correct. That way um, the joints are nice and square and true. Next we headed back over to the router, put on a radius bit and put a nice beveled edge on the top of our box. Nice clean edge, no sharp edges. And uh, started gluing up the joints. Remember, you've got to put uh, good high quality glue and fill in those slots for the biscuits so they'll swell up and uh, create a nice tight joint for you. Definitely uh, coat everything. A small brush will work just as well as the uh, high speed uh, biscuit glue appliers. Uh, but if you do it right, uh, your biscuits uh, should swell up and make that joint nice and tight and they'll actually be stronger than the, the wood surrounding it. So, uh, it's always nice to have a, uh, a small brad nailer handy to uh, hold everything in place uh, while that glue dries because the strength really comes from the glue. It does not come from that little tiny nail that's holding it in there. So, uh, 
again. It's easy to wipe off extra glue, but it's really hard to put glue back into a joint if it got dry and let loose. So uh, use glue liberally and uh, wipe it off at the end. We used a 3 uh, tempered hardboard for the base of our bins because it is uh, very rigid, very dense, uh, nice and smooth too, so the drawers will slide in and out uh, without any uh, complicated hardware um, in and out of those uh, ditto grooves in there. Uh, but here we are gluing together uh, the box. We used three number 10 biscuits on each one of those. And of course, I uh, tacked it real quick with a, uh, a two inch brad nail uh, to hold everything together with that glue sets up. If you do not have a brad nailer, you can certainly uh, pre-drill the holes and uh, use some screws to hold it together. Or, and um, that'll do honestly just as well as the pneumatic nailer. I highly suggest applying glue liberally to both sides of the pieces that you're going to join together uh, that way you don't get any dry spots in there and uh, you will notice coming up here we did get a surprise visit from a quality control inspector who uh, came over to, uh, to make sure that we we're doing things uh, properly it is always good to have a, a QC person um, you'll see her she's in the red dress over on the right hand side making sure that we're doing our jobs correctly Thankfully, everything went together nicely, so we're able to move on to sanding down any sharp edges, breaking any uh, sharp edges, and applying a, a good, strong coat of primer to the outside of the box. We finish off the box with four different colors of a high-gloss latex, and uh, added some casters to the bottom and Lego sheet to the top. We had a lot of fun on this project and we appreciate the opportunity to work with you on yours. We're cheering for you, and we look forward to working with you again in the future. God bless from Woodworks.